Hello everyone, this is the review of LYF Flame F8. This handset is available in India for a price tag of Rs 4199. Build quality is good, body is made up of plastic. This handset is bought by 32-bit Snapdragon 210 1.2GHz quad-core processor and it sports a 4.5 inch screen with FW VGA resolution, color reproduction, viewing angles and the touch response are just about ok. There is 1GB RAM, 8GB of internal storage space, it's running lollipop and there is 8 megapixel camera on the rear, 5 megapixel on the front, it can record 720p videos. Here are the SAR values. And here is the removable battery of 2000 mAh capacity. It's a dual SIM handset. You can use two micro SIMs and there's a micro SD card slot too. Handset supports 4G with voice over LTE. It's comfortable to use. I'm using the Reliance Geo SIM and it's working as you can see here. Here is the box pack. Let's quickly check out the contents inside the box. Inside you'll find this handset and I've already inserted the removable 2000 mAh battery. Inside this box you also get a user guide, warranty card, standard quality earphone, it's a, of a ok quality, data cable and the final content is this travel charger. This is 5 volts, 1 amp. There are 3 sensors, accelerometer, light and proximity. There is built in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. OTG works, you can connect external OTG pen drives. And uh, here is the camera interface, rear camera is 8 megapixel, camera quality is just about ok, not really that great. For more sample images and videos, you can visit my website. This handset can shoot 720p videos, that is also just about ok. If you love shooting images, then this handset is definitely not for you. Coming to the NT2 benchmark score, I got the score of 15800 and the 3D score was 1321. I'm going to play the Asphalt 8 in the very low visual quality mode and as you can see the handset is clearly lagging in this basic mode. F8 is clearly not for gaming users. It takes up to 3 hours to charge this battery and on a full charge you can expect about 5 to 7 hours of non-stop moderate to heavy usage. Overall performance is ok, handset does not heat up. The maximum battery temperature I encountered was 36 degrees camera quality is pathetic. The battery backup however is decent enough. Now most of the users will buy this handset to use it with the GeoSIM especially because of its cost. But I would suggest that you spend some extra money and get a better handset, a more powerful handset. Avoid this one. Do like this video and do subscribe.